let's try to turn a human character into a huge lion. I'll work on the third person map. We need to see the transformation. Let's get into the character blueprint. I'll use a custom character. I'm bored with those mannequins. We add another skeletal mesh under the character's skeletal mesh. Let's call it Lion. Just like creating a character, we will first select the mesh. Yes, it's quite big. You can download these models from epicgames.com. There are links in the description. I created an animation BP for the lion. I need to add it too. And of course, I need to turn off the lion's visible feature by default. It shouldn't be visible in the first place. We will make the transformation in the event graph section. For now, let's assume that we will do the transformation with a button. For example, the left control key. Let's make the man's mesh invisible first. Let's take the mesh and lion. Set visibility of the mesh to false. And set active to false. Then for lion, set visibility true and set active true. Now, we have turned the character into a lion, but we need to be able to undo it whenever we want. We'll reverse the process using a flip-flop. So when we press the left control key, A will work. When we press it again, B will work. Look, I forgot to connect this. I copy all the nodes and reverse the process. Mesh set visibility true, set active true, and lion set visibility false, set active false. Let's compile and save and try it. Yes, change is happening, but it's not organic. It's unnatural. We need to disguise this awkwardness. I thought of using a particle system. We can use an effect like a little smoke or explosion during the transformation. We will add this effect just before the flip-flop node. Spawn emitter at location. I will choose the explosion here as a particle. I change the colors a bit. It might be good to increase the scale value. Let's add an arrow to our character for the location where the explosion will occur. Oh god, sorry for that we will get the world location value of the arrow, which we call lock. Let's connect it to the emitter location. Test time. Yeah, not bad at all. What do you think? If you're finding value in these videos, hit that subscribe button and drop a like if you love the content and ring the bell to stay updated. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.